Hello everyone. Let's start talking about functions in Python programming. Functions are a very important part of programming and it allows you to create small blocks of code. I mean, I guess they could be large too, but it allows you to create blocks of code that you can group together to do certain things. You can assign the function a name and you can call it within your program anytime you need to use it. So it really gives us a lot of power. I mean, so we've talked about how to make um, control statements, how to work with conditionals and loops, and this is just one of those really big tools that we can use to work with our program. So one of the things we like to do is we like to have like a grading at the beginning of our program. That's one of the, one of the things we've been doing the past couple of weeks. So we've done something like this that says your name equals input. Hi, what is your name? And we take that and and write something that says hello comma your name okay so if I was to run this program very simple it allows me to input something and it says something back to me okay so let's say I wanted to turn this into a function I could do so by creating a function and the way a function is set up is first we use the word def. So you can think of it as like a definition. We're defining this particular function. And let's just say uh, greet player. Okay, so that is the name of our function, greet player. And then we have parentheses. Those parentheses can um, accept arguments or parameters. And in this case, we're not going to, to use any because we want to start simple. Um, after we define the name of our function, we have a colon. And you guessed it, we're going to have an indentation. So this is another one of those uh, statements that you have to indent. So everything below that will be my little code block. And what I like to do in good coding practice is to go ahead and put a little comment. Uh, this function will ask for a name and say hi. Okay, make sure our indentation is correct. There we go, and I'm going to delete that line of code. All right, so as of right now, I have something that looks like this. If I was to run this program, absolutely nothing would happen. And the reason nothing will happen is because we have not called this function. So we've basically just stored this function in our program's memory and it's just sitting there waiting for us to, hey, call me up. So the way we can call that function up is we can just say the name of the function and because I don't have any parameters, I just put the two parentheses. So now when I click play, it will call that function and I can go ahead and put my information in and there it will output. Now you can make many, many functions. One of the things that I like to do when I organize my code is if I have a bunch of functions in my program, I like to kind of put them in order of how I, I call them. So like, let's say I wanted to have a function called, um, sorry, define add to. Okay, this is going to be a function that's going to add two numbers. So I can do something like integer one equals input, um, give me a number. And integer two, give me a second number. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm asking for input and then I'm going to output the value of these. These are nothing very exciting. You know how to do all that. I can now call my add to function and let's see what happens. So again, what's your name? I'm just going to put an X in there. Give me a number five, give me a second number 10. And one thing that I keep forgetting is putting 
a nice space in between my inputs. There's nothing worse than not having any space. So there we go. Uh, this is the basic idea for a function. Now, your function could be something long, like for example, if you are going through a process or like playing a game, you might have a function called play game and then all of the all of that is inside the play game function, whatever you have your players doing. Uh, it could be something broken down um, really small like we've done here. So the world is your imagination here when it comes to functions. But remember two things. So number one, you create a function using the DEF and it has a colon and an indentation and then you have to call that function. And when you call that function, you can call that function multiple times. You could put, you could make a while loop and call that function over and over again if you want. Okay, so there we go. Thank you.